Hello, I'm Mike Levin from Mike Levin SEO in the Pipulate project in GitHub. And this may be one of the most important and interesting videos in the entire series, which is quite large uh, so far. Anyway, uh, in order to get an idea of how I'm going to update the correct uh, values into the correct cells, instead of just going for that update, here, which filled bingo into every single uh, cell, I am going to uh, yank that and paste that and edit out the first one and turn the, uh, the update command into just a print command. And instead of bingo, we will show the a cell value because we are sitting on top of a cell for each uh, item in the row or list. And if we show that, we should now see the row and column indexes and what value would end up there. So yeah, as you can see, one one, param one is this. One two, param two is this. And so on, funk one, funk two, hello, hello world. And then out from funk one, which is what replaces this question mark, and hello world, which is what replaces this question mark. Now the trick is a few things. We're, we're actually filtering where we're going to try and do these updates. So we clearly don't want to do anything, any updates back on uh, row one. So that's an easy one to start with. We just say uh, if and that is the uh, row dex is not equal to one. And then we can indent those, run that, and that should now get rid of the prime one, prime two. Yep, it starts right from uh, what is essentially row two. And now the harder part is to skip the hello and the world and just focus on where there were once question marks. Where there were once question marks. That's what makes this an interesting video. It seems to me that we should be able to pr print uh, before and after values for the cell simply by plugging in. See, we've got, we've got a row from up here. And a row is a list. And it should be our original list before value replacement. And we should be able to do a row and then plug in our uh, caldex. Now I remember it was a zero base caldex, so I actually need to do caldex minus one to get back the original uh, zero based location there. And if we run that, you would think you would see, you know, uh, two comma one comma question mark comma you know whatever value is supposed to be there the problem is it's going to show the replaced value twice here hello world hello world we can't detect the question marks in its ver in its current form out from funk one out from funk one why is that well, it's a nuanced but critical point about Python. When we're processing the rows and I return a row, I'm re I've actually replaced values in the original row that was fed into the function, okay? And when you do that, you're modifying the original list. Those question marks are gone from the row you're processing. They're not even there for uh, capturing an evaluation anymore. So, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make a copy of that uh, A row so that as we process it, it is modifying the copy and then we're going to return the copy instead of the original. Without further ado, there is a dot copy uh, method, but another shortcut way of doing that in Python is, and I don't want to use new row again because of scope and everything. So let's say, you know, uh, changed 
row equals a row square bracket colon close square bracket. That makes a copy because I'm defining a range of a list. Okay? Um, and now everywhere where a row appears in this function, I need to replace it with changed row. Seems a long way to go, and I probably should have done search on a place, but I actually wanted to look at each uh, occurrence. Uh, I actually felt that was kind of important. Now we should see question marks in the return values. And we have them for comparison now. And now we only want uh, to show the output if that question mark is in there. So that is uh, back here. This is where we're processing the spreadsheet. Remember that's in the uh, DB dbgdocs function, which will be important later because we're going to have to repeat a lot of this for the other func for the other method of processing rows. And I might try and turn some things into functions so that I don't have to repeat any of this code. But at any rate, we already have if row dex. Uh, is not equal one and I could put it in there but just for readability I'm going to also go uh, if a row square bracket call dex minus one is not equal to or is equal to equal equal we only want to process it when it's equal and we do our indent. I think this guy, yeah, okay. Let us see the output. Exactly, only the question marks get the replacement. And now for the moment of truth, the culmination of the entire uh, project so far we are going to edit that back in. Edit the print statement out. But the update has to be the value A cell and not bingo. Oh, there's some extra spaces here for my copy and paste. We don't want those. Not that it really matters, but a cell. And don't need this. That's something that should probably have try except around it because there's HTTP calls involved. But at any rate, keep your eyes on the question marks. Keep your eyes on the question marks. The output of func1 and func2 should replace each of those question marks. Yay! Whew. And you think that's the end? This is just the beginning. Thanks for joining me. Hope to talk to you again soon. And please don't forget to subscribe.